welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. Fear's a block. You want to manifest uh, something you desire. By the way, you're always manifesting. It's not like, well, I'm going to manifest now. No, you're doing it right now. What are your thoughts? That's manifesting. What are you believing? That's manifesting. It's the foundation of everything that's happening around you. That's your manifesting. You don't like what you see? Change it which means that you've got to reprogram yourself. You've got to catch yourself in the thoughts. So today I'm going to do some, answer some viewer questions. Um, how do I get a partner back? So some love interest has been, obviously, probably broke up with you, I assume. Otherwise, you wouldn't want to get this person back unless you messed up and let them go. In that case, you're never going to get that person back. All right, let's talk about free will. And I have a question for you. Why would you want something back that wasn't working? There's a reason why you broke up. You're not resonating on the same frequency anymore. And even if you think you are, she doesn't think you are, or he doesn't think you are, if it, this applies to, I know a lot of you feel this way. Let it go. The most powerful thing is acceptance and letting go. So in other words, you're going to fight the universe that says you two aren't supposed to be together, it doesn't work, the vibes aren't happening. It's not making a separate decision. You two made that decision through what you were resonating on. Those frequencies are a mismatch and that person is going over here. Slam dunk, easy one, let them go. There is someone out there for you that's going to resonate on your frequency. Why are you not seeking that? And that person's looking for you right now. To want somebody back is a very ego-based, lower frequency thinking. And when I say lower, I don't mean that in a demeaning way. It's just a lower resonating frequency that says, I want what I want, even though that person doesn't want it. I'm going to try and manipulate and change the outside world. That's the wanting things to be different. Wanting to change the material world, that's lower frequency, doesn't work. It's never a good outcome. So, if that person's meant to be with you, let it go. Who knows, maybe you get a phone call someday. It's not likely, because you have somebody out there that's ideal for you. But if you're thinking that that's not true, then that person's not gonna show up. If you think this is the only person for you, then you have a block. Letting go will free you. This is why forgiveness and all these things are good. It's letting go of anything that's happening, accepting the fact that everything happens exactly the way it should because there's something else for you. But not if you block it, not if you don't accept it. So let it go, my friend. It's not meant to be. I know you don't want to hear that. You're going to torture yourself if you don't let it go. And allow what's going to happen to happen. In the meantime, move forward. You know, there's nothing more appealing than somebody who's not available, right? If you are like, you know, trying to get this person back, that's, that's a big turnoff. I don't know about you, but it's like, ah! Acting a little crazy. What are those vibes, those electrical, electric, uh, it's a DNA adjustment for a higher frequency. If you're experiencing the electric, I call it the electrical charges. I've been having them for years. They, they would go for long periods of time, usually in your sleep because your, your consciousness is, uh, off into space, you're reconnecting, uh, and your body is relaxed, and so the vibes will come in and raise your frequency. It's a, it's a DNA adjustment. I, I wake up, I don't feel any different. I'm like, oh, did something happen? No, it's just a physical adjustment so that you can physically uh, transition into the fourth dimension because a, fourth, a third dimension body cannot function well on a fourth dimension. It'd probably break up and... Don't, let's not go into the details of that. It's beyond my comprehension, but I do know that's what's happening. It makes perfect sense to me. I heard other explanations. None of them resonated with me. This does. Our DNA, that we have all of this space, junk DNA, it's not junk DNA. It's being activated right now. We are now going to have powers, uh, intuitions, abilities that we didn't have before. You're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel differently about your environment. You're going to be much more aware uh, things are happening. We talked about this. Okay, somebody said, I didn't post this because I don't like to post this. Uh, I don't like to post this um, evil stuff. 
Evil ETs rule in the fourth dimension. Why would we want to go there? Okay. Do you know what the fourth dimension is? It's a higher frequency. Nothing evil is in the higher frequency. The third dimension, there's all kinds of stuff running around here, resonating at a low frequency. How can evil ETs be on a fourth dimension? They're not on that frequency. Not possible. Don't worry about it. Not sure where you heard that. Let it go. A fourth dimension. A fourth, it's a higher frequency. We're going into a transitioning in fourth and fifth dimension. It means we're pulling away from the density of this planetary existence and some people will stay in the third um, dimension. If you keep thinking that, you're blocking yourself from going to the fourth dimension, which means you're probably going to stay here. I don't know about you, but I don't want to stay in the third dimension. There's nothing evil in the fourth dimension. There's nothing evil here. It's just, you know, density playing itself out. Uh, hypnosis can change negative thought patterns, uh, negative thoughts and patterns. Yes, I am an actual um, quantum healing, healing hypnosis technique Hypnotist, that's a Dolores Cannon certified hypnotist. We mostly do regressions, but we mostly connect to the other side. Here's how you can change your thought patterns and, and negative thoughts. Not because you're being hypnotized to do it, but because you're connecting to the reasons why you're doing it. So sometimes you can go over into the other side and understand why you have patterns and thoughts, and then you bring that information back. But to be hypnotized to stop doing that does not work. You will eventually go back to your old patterns because there's nothing that's been resolved. So don't get hypnotized to try and do something that you're supposed to be doing yourself. It doesn't work. If you're going over there to connect to your higher self and get answers, you, people can have spontaneous healings because you're disconnecting to, from your third dimension body. You're going connecting to your higher level and everything. All answers are over there. All healing. There's nothing over there that's negative, right? And when you connect to that, you sometimes understand why you've brought that energy, that negative energy with you. And when you have the understanding and you let it go, you're doing that. Then you can come back in and uh, function here without it. But don't think, somebody says, I will not have negative thoughts. Okay, that's, there's a reason you have negative thoughts. So you have to work through the beliefs that you have to release and all those things let go. It's part of your journey. Don't, you can't skip it. Again, this hypnosis, be sure you're careful with that. Uh, I'm going to share my personal journey um, in a video after this. Some of you have heard it before. Uh, there's probably a lot more to, to it that you don't know. Uh, if you go to my LandriAnka.net site, you can see my whole bio on there. My LandriAnka.com site, I think, has it on there. What's white light versus light? Well, light is just, um, of course, uh, a structure in the quantum field that creates... It's a higher energy, right? And so white light is the highest vibration. Now, now I, I'm not talking science here right now, because if I do, it's, I'm not going to get it right. White light is the light of the highest frequency. White light is healing. It contains nothing but pure positive, high-frequency energy. So when we say white light, we mean that it is times a thousand power of any light you've ever seen that will not blind you or whatever. That's why people that have um, near-death experiences say that it's the most brilliant light they've ever seen, but of course they don't really have eyes over there. They're just seeing everything through their spirit eyes. Uh, you just see everything, right? We can see anything. So, um, let's part company right now, and I'll be back in the next video. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.